Hey everybody, Blue on Gold Z with another video. Sorry it took uh, a long time in between videos, just been really, really busy lately. Um, so a lot of interesting things has been happening uh, to the U.S. or to our, to our country um, over the last couple of months. And what I mean by that is basically the issues that you see in places like um, Ferguson with the Michael Brown issue as well as the Freddie Gray issue in Maryland. Um, every time something like that happens, um, I notice that there are some, some key points, I guess you could say, that some of the media or the pundits uh, fail to mention. You know, things that I've thought of that, that I wanted to relay in a video, but um, sometimes I get forgetful or very busy, and the situation kind of dies down and passes and uh, loses relevancy uh, before I can make a video. But um, I wanted to make a video very quickly on... Uh, two parallels that have happened recently, um, which I think is, is part of a, 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 an even more important issue, which is basically related to the First Amendment, which, you know, uh, has consequences for everybody in this country, no matter who you are, you know, race, creed, color, gender, you know, whatever. Um, the first issue is, I think it's called the Eric Shepard Challenge, which is where you get people, I think, like, uh, her name is Erica Walker, um, you know, putting the U.S. flag on the ground and walking on it, dancing on it, stomping on it, stepping on it, just basically desecrating it. And there's been a lot of responses to that by a lot of, you know, uh, conservatives, for instance, as well as just um, level-headed Americans, just basically letting her know that she and people like her are just idiots. And um, just as importantly, it's also extremely hypocritical. Now, <clears throat> in, re in regards to that particular issue, um, unfortunately, they do have the right to do that. The Supreme Court ruled in favor that it is part of, you know, the First Amendment to do what they're doing to the flag. I mean, you can burn it, you know, whatever. Unfortunately, it's part of the First Amendment. Um, however, I don't think that, that there shouldn't be any repercussions. I don't believe that um, anybody should be jailed, uh, maybe not even necessarily fined, um, but I believe that there should be um, privileges, not rights, but privileges that should be rescinded. For instance, um, if an investigation finds that you're utilizing federal or perhaps even state grants for your education or loans, uh, that they should be rescinded and pulled back. And you can basically pay for your education, you know, all on your own. Uh, this is more of a state decision for what I'm about to say, but perhaps your driving privileges can be rescinded. Um, if you travel outside of the country and you get in trouble, um, again, if it's been documented that you are some sort of objector towards the U.S. and you've been desecrating the, the country in sh some sort of, you know, uh, shape or fashion, uh, you will not enjoy the, the protection of the U.S. consulate or embassy, you know, overseas. Um, I, like I said, I basically, no rights can be taken away from you. Um, but I believe that there are some privileges that should be taken away from you if if you hate the country so much. Um, I try to think of something interesting because everybody, even though they have valid points, a lot of people that, that feel like me that are very patriotic, they always say the same thing. If you don't like the country, leave. Um, even though that's viable, um, chances are it's not going to happen. So I thought of something that, you know, perhaps we should pass legislation where somebody would basically lose certain privileges if they hate the country so much. And in order for you to get those privileges back, um, you need to sign a formal, some sort of apology, and you need to go through some sort of civics class um, and pass it in order to get your privileges, uh, you know, reinstated. So, you know, that's that's my thought on, on that first issue of the flag walking or flag stomping. And then the second issue that I wanted to talk about is in relation to the 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 drawing of the Prophet Muhammad contest that they had here in Garland, Texas, which I think is <clears throat> a suburb of Dallas. Um, I'm down here in Houston. And the reason why I bring this up again is to draw this parallel because both issues, the flag stomping and flag walking, as well as, you know, drawing of the Prophet Muhammad, they're essentially um, the same side, or excuse me, the, the two sides of the same coin. Um, and the, this message out here is primarily focused for a lot of the, you know, the patriots out there, like the real Americans out there. And this message is, is made to let you guys, guys and girls know that we can't fall into the same trap that a lot of these, you know, jihadists, um, want. And when I say that is that obviously when those two jihadists, those radical Islamists were shot in Garland, 
we all rejoiced. You know, we were like, you know, Texas to, you know, ISIS zero. We're all, you know, fist pumping and, you know, having a good time with that. Um, the thing is, is that I've seen some Facebook posts that say that if, if somebody, you know, ever saw somebody else walking on a U.S. flag or dancing on a U.S. flag, or whatever, desecrating the U.S. flag in general, that that person would basically physically attack that person and kick that person's ass. And, you know, while, while it is kind of nice to kind of visualize that, the thing is, is that you're basically being just as intolerant as the jihadists that went out to, to Garland to try and shoot up the people that were attending that drawing contest. So the thing is, is that the, well, my main point is that the First Amendment, it, for the most, well, for, yeah, for the most part, I mean, short of yelling something like fire or bomb in a theater, a crowded theater, which would incite panic and potentially hurt people, um, the, the First Amendment protects everybody. So if we feel the two jihadists you know, armed with weapons, we're trying to do physical harm towards a bunch of innocents at a Muhammad drawing contest. We cannot say that, but at the same time, physically attack somebody that is desecrating the U.S. flag. It's hypocritical is basically what I'm trying to say. Um, now, fortunately, there's been a lot of people out there that have been putting videos out. Hopefully, these people that are walking all over the flag are seeing it, and they're basically just coming back with very professional, very level-minded or level-headed responses, basically letting the flag walkers, as I call them, um, letting the flag walkers know that they're just, you know, excuse my English, but they're just fucking idiots. They're hypocritical, you know, idiots. And so for the most part, I think I think we've been doing a pretty good job in, in responding to them. And and the other thing, too, that I want to say for anybody out there that, that, or maybe even if Erica Walker or whatever her name is sees this, um, you're not helping your cause. You're just further alienating yourself from the rest of the population. You're not helping yourself at all. Um, you're just making yourself look like an idiot, and you're actually taking yourself a couple of steps back. And the thing is, is you're bringing your people along with you. So it's only creating further distrust amongst uh, your community. Um, so overall, that's just the message that I wanted to say is that the freedom you know, the First Amendment, freedom of speech basically protects everybody no matter what. And for those of us out there that are patriots that, you know, actually would actually attack somebody for walking on the U.S. flag, you just got to remain cool and calm and collected and, and realize that it is their right just as much as it is our right to have a Prophet Muhammad drawing contest and that we shouldn't be fearful of being physically attacked or restrained from uh, expressing ourselves. So that's the main point of this video, is that um, freedom of speech covers everybody, First Amendment covers everybody, and uh, we just need to look at both sides of the coin and treat everybody fairly. Because the minute that we start to say that certain things are not protected by the First Amendment just because the way somebody feels then it's going to set a precedence, a legal precedence, and that's going to start expanding to other things, such as, for instance, if you don't like the president and you start saying some hateful things against the president, uh, which could land you in jail or, or other penalties. So we need to stand our ground and we just basically need to handle everything professionally and through legal matters and... Uh, you know, let, let calmer and cooler heads prevail. All right, guys, so I just wanted to make a video. i got more videos coming up. Just haven't had a time. Uh, thanks for checking in. Blue on Gold Z signing out.